Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be giving this section of my dining room a little makeover. We are going to be getting rid of this console table and replacing it with a hutch. We're going to make over the hutch and then get some new home decor and style it. So this is the dining room. It is not super huge, but that's okay. I'm going to put a picture here of my inspiration. This is what we plan on doing in this area at some point. I don't know when, but hopefully we'll get there. And I think once it is done, it'll just look completely amazing. But for now, I know that I need storage in here, a place to hide some dishes, glasses, and just all the odds and ends. This black console table is the best a unit from Ikea, and I have had it in like our past four houses. I am just really not loving the black anymore. I'm going towards like the luxe glam vibe, and I'm kind of getting rid of all my black. I am actually in the process of waiting for a dining table to come back in stock and then I'm going to order that and get rid of the black one. So this room is going to be nice and light and bright and airy. This room does get a lot of light from the big sliding door, but it does not get direct sunlight because we have a covered porch back there. So anything in here needs to be light and bright so that it really makes the space a bit cozier and just not as dark and drab. I found this hutch off of Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, and it was about $500. I think maybe we talked them down to $400 or $425. But one of the reasons why I liked this one was because it had just a little bit more of a modern vibe to it. The top is very simple, it's not ornate, and I really liked that instead of, you know, most of the older ones you see are more ornate. But it's black, it was painted black, and so I knew that I was going to give it a makeover because again, I'm trying to get rid of the black and just go for lighter. All right, so here is when a problem arises. I really wanted to put our coffee machine and our Ninja Creamy over here because in the long run, when we redo this area, that's where they're gonna go. But I did not realize that the shelves don't move. Like sometimes with hutches and certain units, you can move the shelves around. This one, no, they were permanent. <laughs> so I was so bummed. The coffee maker and the Ninja Creamy were both too big for the hutch. So that was really one of the main reasons why I got a hutch because I wanted to have those over here in this area, kind of like a little coffee bar station, but that wasn't gonna work. So that was kind of a bummer, but we're gonna continue on. I am first testing out this paint color. Honestly, I don't even remember what the color is. It's not like one of the normal popular colors that you would see most influencers recommend. Those are just like the tried and true paint colors and I always recommend sticking with those because after I paint this entire thing, I'm gonna repaint it, but we'll get there in a minute. So I did start painting with this color. It is like a darker tan color, but it ends up kind of looking like sand, like a dark sand color to me and in the end, it's not my favorite, but we are gonna remove the hardware. I knew that I did not want the hardware that was on there. I'm gonna order some from Amazon. When we bought this, the lady selling it told me that this was just peel and stick, <laughs> like paper. So I knew that I was gonna take that off. It's not really my style. It's like the faux wood rustic look. So it easily came off, but that is definitely an idea. If you wanna put some peel and stick wallpaper in the back of any of those shelves, it would just make it look totally different and give it a new feel. So definitely an option that you could do. Mm -hmm. 
So there were these little gold embellishment things. I don't know, they kind of looked like buttons, but I knew I didn't want them on there. So we took those out and you can see Margo is there. She always has to be by me and she's just chilling out on the chair. The next thing I did was took a rag and gave it a good wipe down. It was kind of dirty from before. That's always a good idea before you're gonna paint something to make sure your surface is clean. I did not want to get any paint on the glass, so I took my blue painter's tape and taped it off. Normally, you don't see me use the blue tape too often. I have painted so many walls and so much trim and everything that I've gotten pretty good at it, but something like this where I need to get into a little crease that's there, I really don't want to get it on the glass and have to deal with that. So. We're just going to be extra careful and tape it off before we continue painting around it. The next thing that I did was take some wood filler and fill in all those holes from the little button things. I guess that's what I'm going to call them. And any holes for the handles that I'm not going to use because I'm going to be using longer handles instead of just the little ones they had there. So we're going to take the wood filler and then we're going to kind of spread it out and I will sand it down once it's dry. I'll be honest, I do not like doing like putty and wood filler and drywall repairs. I just never get it even. I don't know, I just, it's not my thing. I could caulk all day long, but this is not something that I love doing. And in the end, you can probably see a little bit of the bumps from where these holes were, but it's okay. It's just a temporary thing that's gonna be here until we can redo this room. All right, I am going to start painting the side of this. One of the reasons also why I loved this unit was because it was really tall. Some of the hutches aren't that tall. I really like it when things fill the space appropriately. So always make sure you measure. As you can see, this doesn't even go up to like where the top of the wall is, but it's definitely higher than I am. I have to stand on the stepladder and I love the way that it fits in here better than the console table that I had before. That was just like really short and while it may have fit like the long ways, it still wasn't the best fit. So I am loving the way that this is in here. You can see my earbuds in my ears. I usually am listening to some sort of crime podcast. That's my favorite thing to listen to or Shalene Johnson, love her content. I listen to her all the time too. Occasionally I'll turn on some music, but listening to like podcasts just keeps me more entertained. When I went to pull the blue tape off, this came off too. So this was actually another peel and stick film that they had on there, just like a frosted film, probably because they didn't want people to see what was inside. But once I started peeling off the tape and it came off with it, there was no going back. There was no saving that. So I just took it off and I'm okay seeing the inside. If I change my mind down the road, that's fine. 
So now I'm just doing some touch-ups. Sometimes when you take the tape off, it kind of takes a little bit of the paint with it or you see a spot that you didn't get very well so just doing a few touch-ups and then it's time to start painting inside these shelves as you can see the color is definitely like a little bit darker than I wanted but it was hard to tell at this point so I just kept going I have a love-hate relationship with paint. I actually don't mind painting as long as I don't have to be like on a super high ladder, which is why there's still some spots in my house I haven't painted yet. But I love the transformation that just some paint can give a space. I mean, it's amazing. With just some time, some paint, a room, or a piece of furniture can look completely different. So after analyzing the hutch for a day or two, I was like, no, I just don't love the color. So I feel like this kind of looks purple in this light. It's not, I promise. This is Accessible Beige, the tried and true color that you probably have already heard of, and that's because it works. A lot of interior designers or influencers will have specific paint colors that they always recommend. This is one of them, and that's because no matter what lighting you have in your home, a lot of these tested colors that have been tested in rooms with different lighting, rooms that are facing north, south, east, or west, rooms that get sun or no sun, they just work. So I am going to be sticking with this. It is definitely lighter, like you can see, so it just kind of brightens up the space a little bit, but it still has that taupey tone to it, so it just also brings a softness to the space. I will be painting the inside of those shelves too, just because now you can see them without that frosted film on there. I would paint them anyways, just because I would want to make sure that it was really uniform. But so far, loving this color instead of the one that was originally on there. We have our Alexa there in that middle shelf. We did have to drill just a little hole at the bottom of like the backing so that the cord could fit through there. I also thought about putting some puck lights in the shelves, but because this isn't gonna be a permanent thing and I will probably resell it when we do the dining room cabinets, I didn't really wanna mess with it. So I got some new handles just off of Amazon. I love getting hardware off of Amazon, super cheap, but you can find some really beautiful pieces. These gold ones are gorgeous. My husband put these in for me. He really does not like doing the handles because he has to make a template and make sure they're all straight. And I can tell when they are not straight. 
So now the hutch is completely done. It's dry, the handles are on, and now is the fun part, we get to decorate. So I went to Home Goods and picked up a bunch of stuff because I really didn't have much to put in here and I needed a few new things. So we are again going with that luxe glam vibe. So we're gonna see some gold, clear glass, just some really beautiful pieces. So the glasses there on the table, I got three of those and they were about $5 each. I got this adorable like coffee cup for $3.50. I found two of those at Home Goods and that was fine. And then these plates were also on clearance for $3.50 each. And I think they may have had like eight or 10 of those. So I just grabbed them all. We do entertain sometimes. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough plates, but the glasses and mugs, you can like interchange those. You know, not everyone needs to have the same glass. It's fun to have unique ones. And that was a cute marble canister for $6. So I have this coffee, like an espresso type of thing that's been super viral lately. So I knew I wanted to put that in a container. I love my greens and trim fit from Beautiful You. I do have a link for that down in the description below, but it has completely changed like how I feel and my weight loss progress. I found this clear Lazy Susan there and I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do with it at first, but I do find a use for it. $13 and it was pretty big. I knew that that was gonna be useful. I love this marble stand. It was only $13. And the marble things that you find at Home Goods are like real marble. Like they are heavy and solid. I'm going to put a few of the glasses that I already have up there at the top. Just so if someone wants like a clear mug for coffee or a fancier glass, they can use one of those. I love this stand. I have been wanting one of these for a long time, but it is just too big. It was not looking good in any of the shelves. It was just too tall. I would only be able to fit things on the bottom shelf. So I do end up putting it somewhere else. I was really hoping it would fit here. Maybe one day when I have the cabinets, it will fit there. I do have a few decor items like that wood pedestal and the marble tray that I'm taking out right now that I have already had. And I just brought up and put them on my table to see if maybe they would fit in here it's nice to like kind of get some of your decor that you already have out and see if it'll fit in your new furniture pieces i did not love really much of what i had in here so i pretty much did use a lot of the new things that i had Styling decor pieces is something that I absolutely love. It's also something that does come pretty natural for me. I can just kind of look at something and determine right away if it feels right or not. Honestly, I could style shelves and homes all day long and probably never get tired of it. All right, I found some of these cute canisters that were about $5. I got this one and then I had a few smaller ones too. I found this acrylic tray with the beaded gold handles, $15. I mean, you could use this to like actually serve food on or some like cheese and crackers would be cute on there. I have to play around with it to see where I actually want it to end up. They had quite a few things on clearance when I was going. I think maybe getting rid of some summer stuff, but these bowls were $3.50. They only had three of them, so I just grabbed those. I'm kind of in this era of I don't need everything to match. Like those little plates don't need to match the bowls, but they both are white and gold. And my cups don't all need to match either. And I kind of love it. 
I'm gonna use these containers to fill them with like my trim fit or my collagen, my greens, the espresso, different things that I need in there. These green packets fit perfectly in here and I love it. It is so nice just to have them out and I can just grab one when I need it. The trim fit fit perfectly in this little container. I actually have another bottle of the trim fit and I could definitely put two of them in there, but it's nice just to have these containers out. It really makes the space look nice. I love trays. I don't even know how many trays I have at this point, but I love grouping things on them. So I have like the espresso, the trim fit, and the greens right on there. And this is the final result. After kind of playing around with things a little bit, getting a few more things at Home Goods and rearranging, I finally love how this turned out. And then I have a nice light to the left of there. I have had that light for so long. I think it's originally from Target and I love this. The color goes really nicely with my pure white walls. I love the handles that I found to put on there. A nice candle to just add to the ambience. On the top shelf in the center, I would like to put maybe a floral arrangement. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but I think I would like to put that there. I'll just bring some nice warmth to the hutch. I ended up putting the acrylic tray right there. I like how it looks with the bowl. Got both of those at Home Goods. And then this is the right side of the hutch. I had those black bowls. I will probably change them out at some point. We actually really don't even use those. They're kind of extras. So those are up there. We have the cute, adorable little mugs and cups with the tray to kind of elevate it. And then I already had this marble tray, but that's the espresso. There's nothing actually in the middle one right now but then just bringing in some of that gold with the little carafe and tea strainer too. Coming over to the left side, I had most of these cups already. The ones with the straws are new from Amazon. And then in the middle, I found a purpose for the Lazy Susan. I have some teas, a lot of protein powder that I can mix with like oatmeal and some hot chocolate and then just powder to mix with water. And then down here we have our pitcher that we usually use for lemonade in the summertime and those adorable plates and bowls. The bottom of the hutch is just filled with odds and ends like water bottles and crock pots. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you back here soon.